Wapam. Speaking of books, here he comes now. Alright, what kind of voice does he, this guy have? Hello, King Jimmy! It's been a while since I saw you at last. I believe we bumped into each other last at the Rose Coast City Gym. Professor Cypress, what are you doing here? <laughs> yes, I guess I should explain. You see, I'm not just Rose Rodriguez, Professor of Pokemon. Ba -ba -ba -ba. I'm also the leader and grand architect of Team Eclipse. Ba -ba. Wait, what? How could you? Well, let me tell you a story. Long ago, when I started my career as a Pokemon professor, I wanted to help Pokemon. When I was a child, I had no friends. Mm, really? That's it. Except for my Pokemon. I love my Pokemon dearly and wanted the best for every Pokemon. Pokemon are excellent and bring joy and comfort to the trainer and are very loyal. So, as a professor, I devoted all my time in observing Pokemon and their relationship with humans. What I discovered was a very disappointing. Humans didn't show the same love and respect for their Pokemon as Pokemon do for their trainers. We observed Pokemon being mistreated by other humans for quite some time now. Oh no. The way people force their Pokemon to processly battle in search of a pity thing as you has been stronger. It is just an example. I cannot stand to watch human abuse their Pokemon. Pokemon should only be expected, so many Pokemon, expected to battle to bring forth their own freedom. But then again, why bother starting a war to free Pokemon where there's a simpler solution? What if I could simply take the Pokemon to another place? A better place even, where humanity is reconstructed around the idea that Pokemon will be free from humans. As it turns out, I'm not far from discovering such a place. I'm close to finding a new world where people and Pokemon can live freely and independently. The day you came to my lab with your parents, they told me they have found something. That was a part of a legend that was tied with an ancient Pokemon called Uba. Did you not tell me what it was until you find the spe uh -huh. specifically? But that is, will be unlock Hopa and its infinite potential. I asked for more information, but it turned out that they didn't seem fond of sharing. I instructed my admins to take your parents to your base of operation for more questions. With their elegant help, we had almost discovered Hopa's location. You see, Hopa can open portals to new worlds across space and time. We need this power to order to reach our ultimate destination. We will not be stopped in finding our new world. Those who do not join us and follow us to the new world will be left behind. The explosive are in place, sir. We are ready to proceed. Explosives? What explosives? Oh yes, we left a little present for you at the city. We felt less than welcome to the last time we visited. So now we plan to replay this city's generosity by destroying its power core upon our departure. When the bombs explode, the power core will of course be obliterated. That core is what keeps the island floating, you know. Why will you do such a thing? The world... The, that will cause so much destruction. You're a professor of Pokemon, not a terrorist. Maybe so. But we cannot afford to be stopped this time. Perhaps I forgot to mention, this world will be destroyed anyway, once we leave it behind for a new world. That's awful! How can you just justify such a thing? It's not justice, it's revenge. Pokemon has been subjected to words, and for way too long. Get everyone on board and ready to go. Yes, sir! Come with me! Ciao. Wait! We will not let you go without a fight. Keisuke, you have you have to stop them. They're about to leave with Jake. You're the strongest trainer I know. Please stop them. Are you actually challenging me to a fight? You can't be serious. Why so serious? The reliance of Pokemons and violence sickens me. But that's how this world handles two situations. 
I may be against Pokemon battles, but that doesn't mean I won't come prepare for one. What? Keep scanning! Is that Absalom again? Oh yeah, from the, uh, from the last place we were. It must have been following you. Devin seems to have a trainer. Kiki, I think he wants to help you. Why does the necklace he's wearing? Oh, he can I mean, must be a mega zone. What? That's why he's one of the few Pokemon that is known to be capable of mega evolving. In order to mega evolve a Pokemon, the Pokemon must be holding a mega stone. And its trainer must be holding a keystone. He really happens to have a keystone with me. My father gave it to me before he disappeared. But I think you should use it. Wow. This is cool. If Axel is willing to help us, then I can use Mega Evolution to your other touches. Hello, little one. I'm so decided to join your team. Oh, awesome. Okay, let's just send Manafi. Even when equipped with Mega Evolution, you stand no chance against my power. My Pokemon shall be the tool to bring you about the liberation of Pokemon everywhere. You will be defeated. Then you'll fall with the other ignorant citizen of Anthean City. Okay, so we got a, a new Pokemon, guys. This is awesome. So what the fuck? Venusaur, right? Absol. Wow, this is gonna be amazing. Look at this. Alright, so fighting, Psycho Cut, Night Slash, Mega Horn. Click this and choose maybe this one. Oh, my God! <laughs> this is pretty awesome. GG, Lando. GG. Right, we have a mega absol now. Alright, let's use the text. Failed. <laughs> he almost killed me. Alright, night slash. He's gonna probably Absol's gonna die in this first fight. That's awesome. Or maybe not. That's level 16. No, I'm still going to use this. Uh, I'm still. Fight. Let's use um. Let's use, uh, let's use uh, make more. Oh no. Right, so we're gonna put out Tyranitar. Pretty epic. Earthquake. I think Earthquake is against me, alright? Crunch him. There you can see the spaceship in the background. Place again. Well, nope. Quick. Oh, it's not ever effective. All right. Like, I really don't know this uh, new Pokemon, so whatever. No, I'm not gonna run. Uh, what if I use um? What's Crunch do? That's way better. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
59. Oh. This is earthquake again. Please be a critical. No. Send out this fella. There we go. Delt box, I don't know who that is. That that's the fire one, I think. I'm gonna wreck me. Psychic one. That's why it's uh, so effective. Here we go, I won. Team Eclipse cannot be stopped now. We'll find a new world. No, please stop. Think of all the people who have gone with the destroyed as a result of this. The sacrifice must be made to bring justice to future generations. If it makes you feel any better, you can have this key to the energy core room. Corky, alright. The bomb will have blown up by the time you can reach the room, but at least you'll be able to watch the pretty light show from up close as the core melts down. Well, I must be off now. I don't want to be here when the bomb goes off. Bye bye. See ya. Bye bye. Bye bye. All right. There they go. See you later, Team Eclipse. This is terrible. They look. They took Jake and Elric to destroy Antin City along with half of Roria. What do we do? There's not enough time to warn everyone. We need to figure out. Where... Oh shit. Sounds like the explosive just detonated. It might be too late. I've never been this scared before. I can't move my legs. I can't believe this is how our adventure is going to end. I just want to thank you for... Your necklace just sparkled. What is it doing? What is going on? What? The Alga? This is gonna be Palkia. <laughs> what is this? They're gonna save us. I can't believe what we are witnessing! The legendary dragon type of the Elgin Falk has just appeared before us. According to legends, they have control over time and space. What called them here, though? Wait, could it have been your necklace? It fell right before they appeared. Well, whatever happened, this is a pretty big deal. We could really use their help right now. Help us, guys. Ooh, what are you doing? What? Falcon's roar seems to have temporarily stabilized the city. This might buy us some time. Now we just need to figure out a way to save everyone. The Elga is going to... We're we gonna travel in time. Yep, we are. Through the black hole. What just happened? We're back in the sewers. Look around, everything appears to be frozen at the same time itself has stopped. This must be the power of the Elga. Oh! Look at the time! My watch is frozen all the time just right before we showed up in Athian Park! To find Jake! But why will the Alga send us back here? Oh! I got it! The Alga must warn us to stop the Team Eclipse admin from planting those explosives! And as luck will have it, Professor Cypress gave you the key to get into the energy core room. We have what we need to save the city! Let's hurry to the core room and stop Team Eclipse! The core up should be on the other side of the sewers, close to where we first entered from behind Gerald's shop. Alright, so the time has frozen, guys. This is... This is awesome. Alright, so we're going to the other side. That means we have to go back, is it? Um, so, that means that I can't fight anyone, because the time has frozen. It's pretty cool. 
That means that we have to go... Okay, so where's the core room? Okay, it's not here. That's a pretty cool twist to the story. Can we go through... Um, it's not there. There we go. So we're in the main core now. There's the Eclipse Goon setting up the explosives now. No a chance to stop him. Okay, so... Time's back. Here we go. Is it rare? You green out? Or green in, red out? Well, it's 50 50. Hmm. Hey! How did you get through in here? It doesn't matter. We are here to stop you. Oh, that was her. <laughs> that was her talking. Sorry about that. Oh, you are? Well, I have you know that I'm Team Eclipse Admin. I'm not exactly a pushover. If you want to stop me right now, you have to beat me in a battle. So everything is about battles here. That's not a problem. Kings will certainly beat you. And when the battle is over, you will pack up here and leave for good. My ma, you're a sassy one. Something must have made you really angry before getting here. Yeah, you could say that. We don't have much time, so let's get this show on the road. Say no more. We're in for some disappointment. Alright, so the battle of Athian City has to start. Uh, I should have brought the um, another starter Pokemon. There we go. He's <laughs> exploding himself. GG. Right. Explosion. Uh, let's see if we can change something out. We have all of the rock ones, so we need the normal ones. I'm gonna. No target. <laughs> nope. So all he has is like this terrorist uh, <laughs> Pokemon that uses uh, to Shrek. Wow. There we go. <laughs> they really thought this through. So it doesn't matter what I use, actually. Oh, it's probably gonna explode itself as well. So, Solrock. It's probably gonna explode itself as well. Explode. Oh, I can actually attack. Go. Was this the last one? Do the stone. I don't know. There we go. Was this the last one? 64. Really good. Yep, that was the last one. Well, I really. Well, I really blew that one. 3,000. Yeah, yeah. I really underestimated this situation. You people can't. Don't get too excited though. Team Eclipse will still got what they wanted here. We came for a priceless artifact that will help us reach a new world. The plan to destroy the city may have been compromised, but the plan to destroy this world is still in effect. I must be going now. Bye bye. We did it. We saved the city. I can't believe that this all happened and that we were able to help. Ooh. Through the wormhole. Hey, it looks like we're back now. The city is safe. We maybe have saved the city, but Team Eclipse was still able to get away with Jake. I feel horrible right now. He 
was only trying to help protect us from now, it's gone. If only I had been there to stop him. We have to save him, along with your family. I will do whatever it takes right now to help and get them back. Team Eclipse made a big mistake by messing with my friends. They won't get away with this. Worry not. Oh, shit. Well, that's this guy. Oh, Gerald, what do you mean there is still time? What did you find out? I did some research on the item that Team Eclipse stole from the museum. It turns out the prison bottle is part of an ancient legend surrounding the mythical Pokemon Hoopa. Legends say that the bottle is used to unleash Hoopa's true strength. Yes, Professor Cypress did mention that Pokemon. Mm -hmm. He said that they plan to use it to take themselves and Pokemon to a new world. Yes! Is this true that it's the power of Hoopa? It can open portals to new worlds. What they don't know is that they are still missing piece of the puzzle for uncovering Hoopa's location. What do you mean? They have the bottle, don't they? Isn't that all they need? The bottle simply relieves Hoopa from his bound throne. What Team Eclipse does know is that Hoopa is asleep, sealed in the sort of tomb. You see, a legend says that long ago, Hoopa was with great power, but lacked any control over itself and caused much destruction. The all-power Pokemon Arches. Arches? Oh. So they decided to cut off the raw power from Hoopa by sealing its power away from the Brisk Bottle. As an added measure, Arches sealed away Hoopa in a tube somewhere beneath the Crescent Island and created a special key to open it. Your parents were smart enough to only give Team Eclipse half the information they needed to get Hoopa. So Team Eclipse doesn't have the key to open Hoopa's tube? Correct! <coughs> in truth, I believe that Gage's parents has found the key and hid it somewhere. Somewhere in plain sight. Somewhere that Team Eclipse would never think to look. What does the key look like? There's several old tales about the key. Ooh, I think I know. Some say that it's a large golden key. Others believe it's metaphorical, like a password. Accordingly, to an article written by the king's parents, it should be a small brick. Wait. Wait? Small brick? What? A small brick? No, it couldn't be. You don't think the necklace your parents made you could be the key, do you? Hmm, I'll do it out. Well, it will be. Your parents must have found a key and given it to you, knowing that someone will come after them for it. They are absolute geniuses. <laughs> Nobody would suspect the child will be carrying the key to the tomb of Hoopa. Your necklace must be the key, and we'll explain how we called upon the Alka and Palkia to aid us. It's imbued with powers before, because it was crafted by archers. What is this about Palkia and Alka? Oh, nothing. Alright. <coughs> well, I think we know what needs to happen next. It's going to be up to you and then I'll to go after Team Eclipse and save Jake and your parents. You've proven how strong you are, and I have a good feeling that there is nobody better for the job than you. Gerald is right. You're the pro probably the only person right now that can stop them. You already stopped them so many times from causing so much destruction. You will need to travel to Crescent Island. I believe that is where they have set up their base of operations. It will be makes sense, given that it's the locations of Hoopa's tomb. Unfortunately, you cannot fly there. The winds around the island are far too strong. You'll have to sail there from Port Deca. Port Deca is on the east coast of Roria. Getting there will require you to go back to the Chronicles Peaks and take the Sky Train down to Route 11. From there, you will have to travel through several roads and cities. Here, you need this to pass to be able to pass and access the Sky Train. Sky train pass, alright. Case, I think we will stay for now with Gerald. I want to aid him with finding more information that will help us find Team Eclipse. I want nothing more right now but to rescue my friend in need. 
Jake was the best friend I ever had, and I was repairing his kindness. Blah blah blah. When we find more information, I'll fly you to you immediately and share what I can. Oh, speaking of which, I want you to have this. What? We got fly. You can use fly to travel quickly, but only to cities you have visited before. That is a wonderful idea. Tess and I will be searching out for critical details. When we find something, you will be the first person to know. We will be a, we will be all be working together to keep Roria safe. There's no telling what catastrophic effect will occur in Team Apocalypse. Manage to leave this world with Pokemon. Well then, I think it's time we get to searching for helpful information. If you want to talk again before you leave, you can find me at the Pokeball shop. All right, Cheryl, I'll be right there. I believe in you. I know that together we can find to save Jake and your parents. I'll be doing my best to help any way I can. We didn't get to finish saying this earlier because we were interrupted by doom and destruction. But thank you for being such a great friend. Aww. This shorter journey has already taught me so much and my greatest lesson learned is how important it is to my friends. Together we are strong, so let's get Jake back. I'll see you later. Bye bye. Take care. See ya. Bye. Alright guys, so that was a long conversation, um, and I think I'll end it there. Uh, I will now just go through the sewers again and search for maybe other Pokemons if that's possible, and I will make a video for you shortly in the next few days. So I really hope you liked the video, uh, if you did, leave a like and a comment, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!